So the first one is the ball. In table tennis, ball must have a diameter of 40 ml and weigh to 2.7 grams. Table tennis balls are made out of a unique plastic-like material called celluloid. Air is trapped inside the ball, which allows it to bounce after striking a paddle or table. The lightweight ball can be struck with different types of rubbers and wrist action which result in different spin rate. So next is the bolster. Table tennis are an alternative to table tennis glue that allows players to enhance the strength and spin of their paddles. The bolster is applied underneath the rubber that makes up the heating area on the paddle. With the booster applied, it creates a sponge-like effect that makes the puddle rubber more elastic. Another one is the glue. Table tennis glue is an alternative to table tennis boosters that allow players to enhance both the power and rotation applied by the puddle. Table tennis glue is applied to the puddle in a similar manner to table tennis boosters. The glue is spread on the sponge that is set underneath the rubber of the paddle. This gives the paddle more spin, strength, and elastic capabilities. The next one is the nets and poles. The net is another part of the table. The street chest across the width of the table and extend 6 inches over each side with poles at either end. The net is made of a stretchy nylon material and measures 6 inches from the top of the net down to the table. Paddle Cases and Penhold Paddle Paddle Cases Paddle cases that are used to help protect increase the longevity of the player's paddles. Of the case or the cover lies in the protection Similarly concerning a ping pong paddle's case, they can keep your paddle free of dust and dirt, keep the paddle dry all the time, protect your racket from the edge chip and cracks. It has been observed over the year. Penal paddle. When we say penal paddle, it's a popular grip style in the table tennis. Your fingers. Many traditional pen holders play like this. You curl your finger as support which maximizes the flexibility of the wrist, makes blocking with eyes side easier. Alice grip. This style stabilizes the forehand stroke a bit more compared to the above. Let you do RPB better also gives you nice flexibility to play short game. Wang, Wang house grip. You use two fingers as support to have more consistent backhand. This style is the most balanced for forehand and backhand. Pussing grip. This style has the most consistent forehand, but somewhat restrain you to play RPB as is the stiffen your wrist. You use three fingers as support. Hi guys! For today's video is ipapakita ko sa inyo ang isa sa equipments ng table tennis which is the t-shirt. So let's go! Since I don't have the actual pick, I search over the internet kung ano ba yung itsura ng t-shirt na ginagamit sa table tennis. So this is what it looks like. This shirt is made up of micropolyester fabric. Clothing made specially for table tennis is very similar to clothing worn in other sports. Shirts and shorts tend to be loose and lightweight which allow for the player to be comfortable while moving around the table. Next one is the table tennis shoes. This is what it looks like. 
for most recreational players, the type of shoes they are wearing don't have too much impact on their play. As long as the shoes is comfortable and allows them to move quickly, they'll have no problem getting to the ball. Table tennis shoes are balanced between being lightweight for the quick movements and being sturdy enough to prevent ankle injuries. So I have two shoes here na ginagamit ko for jogging, walking, and even yoga. And sa tingin ko, pwede na itong panggamit sa table tennis as long as hindi siya madulas or slippery sa paa at comfortable ka naman gamitin at hindi siya nakaka-apekto sa game. I think okay na yun. So ayun lang. Thank you so much! When playing table tennis, any comfortable pair of shorts will be adequate to play in, should be lost and, and light so that the players can more with ease around the table. This robot range in terms of causes and models, robot can change the speed, location, and even the spin on the ball, giving the returning players different situation to practice. Hi everyone, my blog is about towel. When playing table tennis, especially at professional level, many players sweat a lot during matches. For this reason, towels are used to wipe sweat away and keep it off the eyes and face of players. A towel is a piece of absorbent fabric or paper used for drying or wiping a body or a surface. It, it draws moisture, moisture through direct contact. Please like and subscribe. So, before we start, by the way, I am Aiza Makatimbo. Um, welcome to my blog. Hello everyone, for today's video, I'm going to discuss um, what is the purpose of um, water battle in playing table tennis. Table tennis can be a very intense sport, especially when played for long duration. Because of this, Proper hydration is important to maintaining a high level of play, and a water bottle is the perfect solution to this issue. Some table tennis companies produce their own water bottles that are portable and easily handled during match play and breaks. When playing table tennis, it is important for the player to drink the water. Water bottle is important in playing table tennis, but it is not just in playing. It is also important for our body to make it hydrated. That's why you should always bring a water bottle whenever you go to make you hydrated. And that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like